What is up everybody? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Beeline F7. It's a GPS drone with a 3-axis gimbal, brushless motors. Um, yeah, it has a very impressive box. The box is, the printing on this thing is uh, a really high quality. It's almost like foil. Anyway, they just give you some of the features here on the side. The 4K camera, night shooting, um, good transmission distance. All right, let's get it out of the box and check it out. Okay, so inside the box is this impressive bag. So this, this thing has a very nice presentation, okay? Um, we'll give it that. Uh, how's it fly? Who knows? We're going to find that out too, but... Uh, the presentation of this is very nice. It has a very nice bag here. It has a shoulder strap on it. And then inside of there is the quadcopter. So we're going to pull that out. And it has this little unique little prop stabilizer thing there on the top. We're going to take that out and show you that in a sec. And then the transmitter over here. Now I haven't messed with any of this. I haven't taken that out of the box. I did open it up and mess around with that little top of the prop thing, but other than that I haven't messed with this. So that's in there. And then there's the bottom, the secret compartment down there. You see that? Okay, so you got a spare battery. We'll just take it out because there's one in there already. So it's going to have two batteries with it. And then it says blades. Okay. A and B, so you got the set of props in there. Very nice shoulder bag, very nice. I'm not a real big fan of bags, to be honest. I'm more of a case guy, but uh, yeah, the bags are nice too. I mean, at least you get something with it. Okay, so let's take a look at the quadcopter first. And I'm gonna show you this little thing on here. They have this little guard on the top. And that keeps the props from spinning around on you when you're transporting it. It's pretty neat, actually. See how it just sits there? And it's very simple to get on and off. It's not like some kind of complicated snapping thing like a lot of the gimbal covers are. You know how them things are on some of these drones. They're more of a pain to get on and off than they are to even use. So, yeah, that just pops right off of there. Yeah, that's it, it, pretty neat. Then here's the back legs right here, so you would pull them out. And they're pretty stiff because it's brand new, you know, so it's never been messed around with. Then there's the battery in there that charges with a USB-C. So these you go down with. They spin down, they don't pull out. So there it is unfolded right there. Wow pretty nice it has a real nice feel to it it's plastic but it don't it does it's not that cheap plastic you know the difference right guys you know the cheap plastic from the good plastic there's the gimbal cover right there we're gonna drop that off of there real quick so you unhook it from the legs and just pop it off there like that boy I wish the Autels one were that easy those Evos are these things are a nightmare to get on and off. Remind me of the Phantom 3, how much I have problems I had getting that thing on and off. Okay, so there's the gimbal. And it has a uh, sticker over the lens. So i got to remind myself to take that sticker off, which I might just do it right now. Okay, there it is with the sticker off. So we got that out of the way. Yeah, wow, that thing is pretty solid solidly built wow indeed it looks like there's a little allen key there for the prop removal i don't think they're a push in or a twist type deal no no yeah it's definitely some kind of little allen key right there a real small one so i'm sure it's in one of these boxes probably with the blades but I don't want to bore you with that. It's in there. Here's the transmitter. Take that off. Take that off. Okay, so it says on this little label right here, just so you know, that it, 
it takes about 40 seconds for the transmitter and the drone to bind together okay so actually that's a considerable amount of time so you're gonna have to be prepared for that boy the transmitter feels real nice too god look at that wow that has a nice feel also let's check the antennas real quick yep and they have wires in them so they are actually real <laughs> okay so these are real antennas there's the phone holder so this shrink wrap was on here that kept it from opening up like that okay let me power this on real quick to see if there's any battery in here zero okay 91 percent so there's the charge port for the battery right there that's also a USB-C so I'm gonna turn that on and I'm gonna turn on this quadcopter and we're gonna get this stuff bound up real quick there's the micro SD card slot on the camera it's right there you just flip the camera forward See, there's the camera you flip it forward and there's the spot now I'm gonna put a card in there real quick okay so when you're gonna put the card in the label is gonna face back okay so it's got the MJX power on deal okay so it says connecting so I did the um, the level calibration which is up and out I did that and then it did the it stopped doing the beeping so you want to do that right off the bat and now now that I did that level calibration where I went up and out on the sticks the gimbal started to work so the up and down on the gimbal right here you'll see it going up and down so now it's actually you know all of this stuff is actuated so now I'm gonna hit the uh, the compass calibration and that's up and in like this see now it's gonna beep now it's gonna want me to do the spinning and then it beeps again it tells you when to stop spinning it and there it's done and so there you go and I like the I like those ones that have the beep because when you're out in the sunlight um, it makes it if you can't see these lights you know sometimes these lights you can't see them when the sun's real bright so if you go into the GP or into the calibration mode um, now see it's flat it, it, when you go into the calibration mode you can't see the lights flashing so the beep tells you when to spin it now you see the lights flashing now it's because it can't find any satellites okay when I when you do the compass calibration those lights should stop flashing okay so then you know that the compass calibration is done but you also know when it's done when you get to the second set of beeps we're gonna see if I can turn the GPS off oh okay so here's here's something cool right here on this button right here you'll see it says zoom out it says zoom in and zoom out now this thing does shoot 4k but it only shoots 4k 16 frames per second so what I might do when I um, uh, when I shoot with it I might shoot at, t at 1080p to get a smoother to get a smoother video I might not use the 4k because 4K at 16 is sometimes can be a little choppy. So, okay, there you go. Okay, watch, I'll arm the motors here. Okay, all right. To go into the Addy mode and bypass the GPS, you hold this button in. And when you do that, it'll go here to Addy mode. You see that? okay so we got that out of the way yay <laughs> so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fire up the app and try the app out now the app is uh, gonna be called this be wine drone and there's a key uh, you know QR code there so you can use the QR code if need be Here's the Wi-Fi name is right there be wine f7 blah 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 it's gonna come up like that okay so it finally connected boy it took a while for that but boy look how clear the uh, the video looks Wow there's those flowers I always use them for an example 
<laughs> because of the color. That's why, guys. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it finally connected. It took a while. Now it shows you the status of the memory card on there. You see right up there, and then over here is your little. No, I don't want to return to home. I thought that was the. Um... Oh, there it is. The flight modes there. It says return to home. I don't want to do that. So here you got your little flight modes, your little arrow that points to the right. Anyway, so you hit the little arrow that points to the right here, and that'll show you all your stuff. Your follow me. G oh, and they have image follow and GPS follow. I guess, you know, one will follow you, and one will follow the GPS, which will follow the controller. And then you got your circle music. I don't know what that is. Um, gestures, which I'm not a fan of gestures. And then you've got your zoom, which you have that stuff on the controller itself, so you really don't need to do that. And then you got this route thing, which is just your basic waypoints. Now I'm gonna make I'm gonna say one thing about waypoints on drones that are not DJI, Parrot, Autel, or something like that. On drones like this, the GPS works, but it's the accuracy that you have to worry about. So if you're gonna use any kind of mission planning or anything like that on a drone that's not one of those top tier type drones, you better be in a very wide open area because the GPS accuracy is what you have to worry about. Yeah, on when I do one with the Mavics or whatever, when I lay it out there on the screen, it's gonna go exactly where I lay it out on the screen. But on some of these, if the GPS accuracy isn't right on the money, it can it can go off to the side because it did it with me with the Bugs 5. It didn't crash or anything, but it just wasn't exactly where I wanted it to go. It went a little, veered off a little bit to the left and went over a fence and almost into a tree, but it didn't quite hit the tree, so I was able to uh, recover from that. So, yeah, GPS accuracy is very important when you're doing waypoint missions. Just regular GPS accuracy isn't all that important when you're just flying around and you hit return home and it it lands you know a couple of feet away you know a couple of feet six feet it's no big deal as long as it comes back around you but when you're doing one of those missions and you're flying around trees and buildings that thing better be accurate and you better use a phone that has data because if you don't use a phone that has data you're just asking for trouble okay so you want to make sure you use a phone that uses data so I just wanted to get that in there so you don't uh, so you don't have any issues with it. So you saw the whole setup of getting it ready to fly, and yeah, okay, just took a few minutes. I mean, most of the time it was just me babbling, but uh, got it out of the box, got it up and running, got it calibrated. Anyway, so it just timed out because I've been standing here so long babbling, so it just timed out. But that's okay. All right, guys, there you go. There's the unboxing setup of that. Seems like it'll be great. Let's go fly it. <clears throat> All right, guys, we're out here with the B-Wine F7. <laughs> and the video looks really clear on the screen. I already did the compass calibration and all that crap. So we're just going to take off, start the video up. Okay, well, it says receiving picture. I don't know about all that. But let's uh, switch to video mode and start recording some video. Okay, so it's what, it's 20 satellites? Is that the modes there? All right. Let's take off. Check it out. Wow, as soon as I started, the damn battery would start dropping. That's not a good sign.
seems to steer pretty good. I'm not real happy about the the GPS kind of disappearing like that. Let's turn that beginner mode off. Oh my god. Okay. I just want to fly it around right now just to see what the story is with this thing. I'm going to put the video at the end. Okay, so it steers real nice. So. Oh, yeah. It steers real nice. Okay, so at least we got that going. <laughs> so at least it does that. Okay. So... Let's go with a, let's just turn it around. Let's go with a GPS follow. Okay, so that's working great. Okay, let's go with a... Let's turn that GPS follow off. Though it's gonna go back to where it was pointing. Okay, so that's good. So we know the GPS is working. Look how stable it is, man. It ain't it ain't budging. Oh, there's the zoom. Okay, so we got that going. There's the camera angle. So we know that's working. The gimbal tilt. So yeah. Okay, so the battery's still hanging there at that. It's very stable. Battery's still staying at that 50%. 56% deal so we'll get it for the next flight I'm going to take it out tomorrow over by the old factory in the river okay so the so follow me works great what about the around flight let's try that the circle mode let's take it up a little bit so we don't run into nothing but I'm really impressed with how stable it is wow I mean I just can't get over that I mean, it's just rock solid as far as stability. You know, these features, I mean, you could, it still says that it's doing it. But, you know, heck with it, we're gonna cancel it out because I don't know if it's working properly. Wow, it's very, uh, it's very rock solid, man. The GPS lock on this thing is, wow, really solid. Now, what does this image follow when the light is sufficient? Okay, let's see if that's working. Yeah, okay. Image follow. Yeah, that's working. Okay, well, I still got a little bit of battery. We're going to cancel that. Well, I still got just a little hair battery. So you see how damn rock solid it is with the, uh, with the GPS lock on. Okay, so we're going to turn the GPS lock off real quick. I'm putting the Addy mode on real quick to see how it flies in that. while well, I got a couple minutes of battery.
And of course the video wasn't working the whole time. So I'm going to try to get a couple of seconds of video here. That's a bummer. I thought it was running. Oh, you know what? When I hit one of those modes, it must have quit working. So let's get up here and get some, at least some video to put at the end. There's some zoom for you. Even in the Addy mode, this thing is rock solid. So at least there'll be a minute of video up there. Let me turn the GPS mode back on. Okay, I'm going to have to bring it down and land it because I'm running out of battery here, guys. But man, wow, this thing flew great. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. I didn't think it was going to fly this nice. I got to be honest. Wow, was I surprised. Holy Toledo. surprised 24 percent battery all right guys so yeah wow i'm kind of really shocked at how well and how stable that thing is wow all right guys i'll put the uh a little bit a couple minutes of video i got at the end i'll put in there all right, guys, have a nice day, man. I'll talk to you later.